ready to go? Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry, Jim. Um, Jim, Bill, Bob, uh, thanks for allowing me the opportunity to speak for you. I've come to talk about a, a project that we're working on in the downtown, uh, for which we'll be seeking funding on the warrant this year. Bill, please try to be informal. This is not a meeting. Okay, good. Okay, I'll, then I'll be informal. Um, for, for a number of years, uh, the, the town has um, been working on High Street in downtown uh, through a number of initiatives. Uh, we've been successful in, in receiving funding for some of the ancillary projects in the downtown. For instance, we were able to do Nelson Street a couple years ago. We'll be doing Walnut Street this year. There's the residential streets in the downtown. Uh, we've been able to get some money for signing facade improvements in the downtown. We're opening our first bid on the old Jack's Copper Kettle Building this Thursday. Um, but, and we've done a number of planning uh, studies in the downtown, including parking management, uh, complete streets, a lighting study, um, and, um, and a wayfinding uh, program with signage for the downtown. All those are in early stages of implementation, but um, one thing we understand is that um, the most crucial piece of the downtown over which the town has control is its infrastructure, and the infrastructure in downtown is uh, at a high level of deterioration. I think that's a fair thing to say. The lighting is uh, effectively non-functional through long stretches of the street. Uh, the sidewalks are in good condition, but the roadway itself is in poor condition. Uh, drainage is functioning poorly. Um, the road um, was last done 20 years ago. The infrastructure, with a lot of lighting infrastructure, is 50 years old. The drainage infrastructure is probably on the order of 120 years old, and some of that drainage structure um, appears to be incomplete. So what we are proposing um, is a rebuild of, of Church Street and High Street to install uh, new historic lighting, um, to make some minor improvements to the curb line, to uh, uh, make it easier for pedestrians to get around the downtown, um, and to um, fully reconstruct the depth of the roadway, um, which is in deteriorated condition and, and effectively needs to be rebuilt um, to, to a sufficient depth to, so, that if we, so that the paving will be uh, durable. Um, we've been working with Tom Laughlin from Beta Group, Eric Galley from Beta Group, um, with the Downtown Steering Committee, which is a subcommittee of the Selectmen, um, and have arrived at the design you see before you, uh, which we think will be, uh, make some major improvements to the downtown um, and serve to uh, support business development downtown, economic development, the quality of life of all residents, and will, uh, I think, uh, Enrich one of our principal public spaces, our downtown. So, I, was, couple, I had a couple of questions after looking at the numbers. There's no water and sewer improvements here. The I water lines were redone in 2005 and 2006 with a CDAG grant. You remember that was the phase that took it from Church Street up to water. And that was that project did new, new sidewalks and also trenched the road, which is one of the ones you see. There's a, a, a serious sad in, in in High Street. Running. And that, street, and that is connected to the water lines. The water lines are in excellent condition. Um, to date, we've not had serious uh, issues with, this, with the uh, sewage in the town, according to the DPW superintendent. So there's no uh, sewer work proposed. Uh, how old is the water in the street? Uh, the water, again, is only about 15 years old. Um, similarly, um, I believe um, water, uh, Church Street was done about 20 years ago. Um, and it was, the new line was put down when we, con we constructed the new elementary school and it was actually brought up to all the way up to Chestnut Street. Now you have two options. One is to, to fix the road and one is to bring it down to the basic stat point and stat over again. Is that correct? That's correct. Um, they, That's about 500 grand more, give or take a penny? I think it's a little more than that, actually. It's a, well, it's, it is, you know, in, in big numbers, yeah, it's in that range. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, and if, Tom would be happy to speak to what they found in doing surveying and coring and sampling up on the roadway, but it's in tough shape. I see all the little bolts in the, dry, in the, uh, in the sidewalks, so those are all your yeah. points, right? Yeah, his uh, points, yeah, that he can come up and... Uh, if you could do anything to fix that uh, the drainage manhole in front of the, the uh, Santander Bank, that would be wonderful. That was very creative engineering, whoever did that the last time. Different. The one with the uh, metal plate on Yeah, top. you got it. Yeah. So I, I laugh at that every yeah, time we I like see that one. We're, gonna, we're thinking of leaving that one. Well, like it so much. Listen, I probably tripped over it that time. So, um. <laughs> No, that is definitely on our list, yeah. Um, as well as all of those um, trench drains through the sidewalk. That is I, I don't understand. No, they're already, they haven't worked in 10 yeah, years. Yeah, so, so we're going to remove those as well. And then. You're not going to leave any bump outs there, are you? 
Uh, we are. We think the bump outs offer uh, different uh, uses. Uh, one of them, uh, the most important, is uh, trying to cross people with a diagonal parking, trying to get the pedestrian further out um, amongst the car rather than behind the car. Um, allows the pedestrian to see the vehicles and the vehicles uh, to see the pedestrian. Uh, and it helps in the crossing. You're going to put them in different places, I would imagine, right? Or similar places? Oh, well, actually, we just finished talking about that tonight um, and the pros and cons of either moving them or keeping them. Um, and we've heard from uh, one of the business owners that uses it quite a bit, and he says that it works, it works very well and had some reasons why changing its location or its, uh, the distance of that curb line from the other curb would, be, would not be beneficial. And he makes some good points about the turning movements of the vehicles and things like that. So. Well, that's where I illegally park when I'm in a hurry. So yeah. that's basically the case. Yeah. But, but it, it works for loading, which is primarily, it does two good things. It gets uh, pedestrians you, you, out of the physical. You, you know, we're worried about costing and overruns. I know you have a contingency here and a few other things. Uh, how many other projects have you done this size? I just might as well ask. Myself, yeah. I've probably Well, you're the guy to put the numbers together, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. I've, uh, well, I used to work for MassDOT back in uh, 1992, so I've been doing jobs since then, so I would have to guess maybe 20. And your um, company does jobs this oh, similar size? Oh, our company does, you know, downtown centers across uh, New England, um, and there have been many, many in Massachusetts, yeah. Okay, but just asking, because yeah. we're, on, we're on TV, people like to at least add, yep. let me ask a couple of questions. I assume you were picked and, and you, you can do the job. The plans look pretty good, what I've seen. I hate trees because I get leaves in my office, but that has nothing to do with you. Um, is there anything that you would do to save money on this project? Um, so, yeah, there's definitely decisions that uh, the town needs to make in balance uh, the uh, aesthetic look that they're trying to achieve and match what the character that you want Clinton to to be how much you know I don't think you want to change Clinton let's say but to enhance uh, Clinton would be the object and there are choices in uh, fixture styles I think we have some that we can show you tonight uh, finishes on the sidewalks uh, whether you include furniture like benches and uh, you know different things like that there's a lot of different choices but I think you know working to um, you know uh, a larger number and trying to you know balance you know what's important versus what's just being done to, to make it new. Uh, you know, for example, we feel uh, a way to save some money out here would be to reset a lot, most of the uh, granite curb. There'd be no reason to throw out uh, that, that good curb uh, and to reuse that, um, but we do need to replace the sidewalks in order to make them accessible. Right, you have to take up the sidewalks to replace the lighting. And that's how this all got into a larger yeah, project. Yeah, that would be one reason to take the sidewalks out, but the other reason is but most of the sidewalks are not compliant with um, ADA uh, laws, so we need to correct the cross slope and the, uh, the running slope, the you know the path of travel for a user, um, and that would be the probably the most important reason that we're taking up the sidewalks. Now the lighting itself, th this should light up like Disneyland, correct? Well, I it, would uh, hope it's not like Disneyland, uh, but more in the character of what you're trying to achieve, that it's a well-lit street that's inviting, um, but not so bright that um, it just glows. See, See I envision three or four new restaurants here once we finish this project, because people will want to come to downtown. I, that's, that would be a goal, yeah, that you would... Uh, that's would, my goal, so yeah, that's, yeah, I like yeah. that goal. Yeah, I mean, so. I think you've got some great restaurants already, and to bring a couple more of those in to Clinton would be great. That's my point. Yeah, this... There's an idea of the, of the curbside test. If, you, if you're trying to attract businesses and business owners, and if a biz prospective business owner pulls up in front of a, a, an empty storefront in Clinton, uh, they ask themselves, can I see myself here? And yeah, I, that kind of an optics test, that kind of a field test, I don't think we passed it in every warrant right now, but I think this will be a big step forward in, into making the town seem like a more attractive town. I mean, look at Central Park, it's gorgeous. Yeah. You know, and people have put a lot of money in that park to get it that way. Yep. Now, uh, Phil, me and you have talked a couple of times on this. Let's go over our opportunity to get grants with the uh, state on this project. Because we're going to have a, a long leeway here until yep. we get started. It's not going to happen overnight. So. And, and, and Tom can speak to this as well. The, the chief funding opportunity would be a MassWorks grant. This is a grant program where the state, um, in, during the previous administration, amalgamated all many public works grants into one omnibus package. Um, the average award is, is something between a million and a million and a half dollars. 
Um, we have it uh, to our advantage that we've never applied for a MassWorks grant before, uh, but the grants are uh, given with the intent of st uh, investing in public infrastructure to stimulate private investment. So um, while preparing for that grant, we'd be um, communicating with different property owners, as we always do, some of the other businesses in the downtown, um, and uh, to, to understand what investment plans they may have. Um, on that same note, at this year's town meeting, there'll be a Warren article uh, to provide for as of right, to allow um, housing as of right in the upper floors of downtown buildings. As, as you know, Jim, and, and you know, Bill, um, and you know, Bob, as well, there's, there's already a, a few hundred units of housing in the downtown and upper floors, but there are four or five uh, properties that were, whose upper floors have been vacant for literally decades, um, and I think it's time to understand that the most likely avenue of reinvestment in those properties is going to be residential. So let us provide a, a path with some certainty under zoning to uh, provide for that kind of investment. Okay, and these documents will be ready for grant applications th that we're going to get from Oh, yeah, people? they're already for grant applications. You know, th there'll be another phase. So you're currently working on it right now. Is that what you're telling Well, it's me? in September, but yeah, we can start Yeah, the, the grant program opens up uh, late June, uh, maybe early July, closes either late August or early September, um, and uh, they do typically, you know, we're at a preliminary stage already, um, and the grants typically pay for 10% uh, of the um, design, and um, it's as much construction as the grant will take you. Okay. But, um, okay, well, I, I'd love to fix the downtown. I don't know if I'm up for four and a half million, but we'll have to see. I know. We're talking about using enterprise money for some of the financing on this project. And again, we're not going to have that opportunity to have that enterprise money forever. So, no. Now, would you guys have any questions for these guys? On that Church Street fill, yes. particularly the old timer area, are you taking those trees out and replacing them? Or? Yeah, those trees are going to come out. They're, they're uh, on the north side of the street fill. Those trees are pretty much at the end of their functional life. Yeah. And the ginkgos on the other side are probably pretty more healthy, but um, they seem to be in un unloved trees. So those trees will come out. There's, there's some brick walk there. Is that going to be replaced with the concrete? Uh, yes. Yeah, the yeah. surfaces would be pretty consistent the same. Uh, there could be some areas where uh, we use different textures um, in some non-walking areas, let's say, uh, maybe uh, granite or cobbles or things like that. Um, to add some, um, you know, difference in, in um, color and texture to the sidewalk areas, but um, essentially the walking areas would be cement concrete. It's, it's What's the good. time frame on, on this project? Well, it depends a little bit on the funding. Um, it, uh, if uh, we apply for a MassWorks grant, those grants are not normally awarded until September. Um, there's a couple of approaches towards the construction. One would be that if we were able to start some of the work in this construction season, it would allow that work to winter over a lot of subsoil, subsurface soils to compact, which would be to the benefit of the project. Is that a fair thing to say? Yep. Um, but it may be that given uh, the funding, whether the grant or through the town, um, we may be into next year by the time everything is sorted out. So, um, and this would be a, this would be a one year, this would not be a. Um, you, I, I would say a 12 month construction period. So how that breaks down, uh, you know, when you advertise, uh, would make a difference on how many, um, ca you know, calendar years you would be in. Um, but you would probably overlap into a, into the spring of another year to maybe put your final surface code, your uh, markings, uh, uh, finish up the lighting, and some of the uh, furniture type things on the sidewalks. Is the warrant article dependent on the state grant or independent of it? The warrant, well, not, I'm, not sure, not, I'm, not, I'm not sure how the warrant article is written. I can't tell you the state grant is dependent on the warrant article. Um, you have to have a demonstration that you can proceed with the project and absent asking for a four and a half million dollar grant, which is not likely to be awarded. You know, we need to show that, that the town's monies are secure and in place and available for the project. There's been some talk, uh, I don't know, Bob, we, we talked a little bit at the joint meeting about using three million from the enterprise fund and getting a million and a half in loans with the idea that hopefully the grant will supplement those loans and we'll borrow a little, very little on the project. It's been discussed, there's no, nothing going on, but it has been talked about. So, that's about it. Bob, any questions? No, I'm looking at the two 
projects, you get the full depth reconstruction and the, and the mill and resurface. And you lose the landscape allowance? Why is that? Uh, we don't lose it. We actually hold it consistently on both of them. I believe it's uh, 60, I think I'm 160. It's uh, So landscape allowance is here in the orange, and here just the uh, box room. Oh, okay. so, so you're same, not drawing it. Same dollar amount, um, right. even though the total job amount. Has the building committee looked at this at all? The building committee is not. The downtown steering committee has been been working on the development of this project. But has the building committee looked at it at all? No. That would probably be a priority for us too. At least they looked at it. Okay. Uh, again, they they're going to. With you, they're basically going to do the management of this project once it gets going. You know, so okay. okay. I don't have any more questions. Thanks, Phil. Thanks for coming in. Thanks, guys. Bye. I hope hope you can support it. It's, uh, it's the next yeah. big step forward. Oops. Is that the light? Yeah, you know, if you were interested, I know that the light makes a big, big part of the project. This is the reason the project is important. This is one of the styles that's being considered. Um, it's different. A lot of the lights you have in town is. Globes tend to throw the light in, in all directions and throw it out as well. This is sort of a newer approach to lighting where the lights, um, and this is all LED, the lights are in the top here. I'll show you. These are the LED, the light emitting diodes. And so these throw the light down and out. So it lights the roadway, it lights the sidewalk. It doesn't, it's very uh, dark sky friendly is the terminology. So then there's a lens or a shield um, below. And so this kind of uh, changes the look a little bit. You go away from a glow, you get more light, uh, more efficient light, and you get light where you need it on the street. Um, would, each, would each of those lights be developed at a certain lot for their location, or is it all the same? Um, that's a good question. So there's it's something called the distribution it's pattern. So the pattern of the light does, does vary. If you're going along the sidewalk, they, they tend to throw long and out in front. That's called the type 3 pattern. And then at intersections, we go to a type four or five, which is like a square shape. And then you can see these would be right. modified to these panels come out so they can add depending on the distribution. Now, a lot of people don't see to see this, but this is just set up to be able to throw relatively uniformly. You could light in one direction. And then there are also shields that come into play that help direct that light so it's not. So um, somebody really smart is going to put all those lights together it's, in a certain... <laughs> well, it's, it, it, I guess it's, it's nice to see because you kind of get a sense of, of how it works. But right. You have a shield on the house side so you don't get too much light coming back toward houses. Oh, yeah. And this is the style of light when you have apartments on the second floor, third floor. It doesn't throw light uh, up. Well, that really smart person uses a, uh, what you call a photometric plan that kind of that, no, this illustrates is, how that, that, like, that, that light like gets something's missing. down on the roadway surface. This particular one is uh, the stock. Okay. Um, so I had one in the earlier that was a glow, which is another one. Wow. This is, these numbers this is the like foot candles, which is the intent to be light in the strike zone. Designed to be sort of open. Like that. And you actually right. spend a lot of time on the color of the light, the intensity of the light. Right. Right. The next four seconds, yeah. even this is the light. Yeah. 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 Phil's got yeah. a glow yeah. in his office if you want to see that. That's more like Kevin Nelson's read. Yeah. 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 No, not as much. It's just it's, it's closer looks to like there should be a flame. Or 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, sometimes they say that it's like a gas light style, you know, yeah. been the original gas light, but it would have been yeah. yeah, so what you have is because the, the light emitting diodes are up here, all the lights are just yeah. Yeah. It's it's just 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 the you just put in the air. Oh. <laughs> I just learned something today. So. Well, yeah. Birds have a tendency to build a nest in there. Yeah. Yeah, we've, had that, we've had that question before, so we're looking into it. And normally, We've used these in other places. We've never had that issue before. Um, they're they're sitting about you know eight inches away from the, the light, so uh, that, you know, I don't know if that's a, a great nesting habitat. But we, we were asked that question, so we're going to look into it and see if there's any issues. Wouldn't want any uh, any provisions. A protected species to nest in. Right. 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 Okay. Two ravens. Well, thank you. Sure. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Can you take other ones down here? Okay. Well, thanks for your time. I appreciate you guys coming in. Oh, no well, we probably yeah, talked. Okay.
considering we can't have a meeting, I just want to go over what's going on with the budget. Mike, me, and the facilities manager, and Steve has worked out the budget for the facilities department. That's roughly the number that we took out of the departments plus 4%, plus $200,000 for um, capital improvements and two forty-five dollars for equipment. Their original requests were three twenty-five for equipment and three hundred for capital improvements. A um, couple of things I want you guys to look at that I'll explain. First, go look at the last page in the budget. Um, it says school building reimbursement. As you can see, that number has changed drastically. a 20-year building situation on the high school we believe that we're still checking that out but we believe that number is that's a quite a big number that's changed our budget procedure here you know where I am here Bob yeah okay a couple other things we have some additional money in overlay I'm planning to use for approximately 600,000 out of the overlay account to help balance this budget um, last but not least New growth has changed, and the amount that we can levy in real estate taxes has changed due to, due to some personal property stuff and some other stuff that's went on. So in losing that reimbursement for the school, we're able to come back with those other two numbers. There's still some additional money in overlay <coughs> that we're plan I'm planning on using in the future, but right now we're at a, a budget that shows a $20,000 plus. What my consensus is, is that we're going to go over these budgets tonight without everybody here. I'll wait till Tuesday. But I'm going to send it out to Mike to check the figures. I've already had Diane check them. Now we're, th this is what we're going to work off. Now the problem we have with this budget in general. This is correct now. We are not absolutely sure. There's some people on one side of the fence, some on the other. We, we have a call into the state, we're working on it. But That's the 800,000 we were talking about. Right, 800, we, we're not paying, we're not gonna get the 800,000 here. And we didn't match that up till last week. So, again, luckily we have some other things we can do to generate that money right in the budget. Now, I have went through with Mike and took an up, taken out all the accounts for everybody's budget. I think the only one I haven't talked to is Dino's repair for the building, which goes under the uh, maintenance department. The police, I've left uh, their numbers in the budget for their repairs, but I think that probably Russ is going to manage those for the first year, but that's a discussion for the chief. So that's the only, only account I have not consolidated into the, um, into the facilities department. You have that on a separate piece of paper, that budget. So next Tuesday, we're gonna go through this. The problem I have right now is we have a bundle of articles. We thought we had more money than we have. We still have a million one in, in free cash to pay those articles. Um, so now you know the back face where I am right now. Is this, the middle school roofing here anyway? It is, it is in the articles that I gave you the last meeting for 640. Is $100,000 for the generator that I'm trying to have a discussion on with the selectmen because we, we may not use that building in five years exactly the way we're supposed to. So, on. and again, we, I mean, we have 50 articles on town warrant. Who's going to show up? I don't know. I've tried to eliminate some of that, you know, like $10,000 here for a truck for, for the uh, civil defense. You know, we put Russ's amounts in there for his equipment. I'm trying to eliminate some of these articles, but the uh, new meal sales tax. How much are we putting on that, roughly? I believe we received two quarters worth of revenue. We might have received a hundred, maybe a little over a hundred, maybe. So uh, for a year, you would expect the first quarter was low. Second quarter, I'd have to check. We only have two quarters. Uh, first quarter was 30 something maybe. So we're talking maybe 
hundred grand total for the year. Would be for a, a year? Conservative number. One twenty maybe. Yeah, I had figured ninety myself, but of course I never get the number completely. I'd right. have to look again. I, I don't have it. Yeah. Well, that's We're not counting. Yeah. On that anything. goes in the general fund. Mm -hmm. Can you earmark that? It's just a local revenue from the state. I mean, it's just a. No, you can't earmark it. No. No. Okay, so there's a couple things that the selectmen talked to us about. One is increase uh, snow and ice a little bit. We may not do that this year. One is paying off a loan for the pension plan. We may not do this this year because there's so many articles. And, you know, I have a general concern about doing a new generator on a building that we may have for five years. Couldn't we pick another one that needs it? Or, you know, make a better plan? Uh, again, we have the roof, we have a fire truck, we have a uh, sander truck for the DPW. So. You know, I don't have any problem financing the roof, but I want to see what happens in the next week or so. They're meeting Wednesday to finalize the warrant. At that point in time, that Thursday, we're going to make our votes for the warrant articles. We're going to have to. So, Tuesday, we're going to come in. Hopefully, we have a full board. We're going to go through this budget. Mike, I've already looked at it. Diane's looked at it. Uh, Bobby, any idea when you'd like to meet with the selectmen again? Pretty wide open. So I'm, <coughs> I'm going to try for Tuesday, next Tuesday if we can. But if I can get it earlier, I would. Next Tuesday would be preferable. And uh, so they had a wish list, but I think some of that wish list is going to go away. Mm -hmm. Okay? They were pretty much on the same page that we were right through. Well, well most of the stuff. I mean, this is a big cut, that $800,000, so, you know, we can't do exactly what we planned in the beginning. Anything else somebody want to bring up? Uh, I won't be here Tuesday, but I'll be here Thursday, so maybe that's the meeting that we're both on minutes, reserve fund transfer, and warrant articles. We're going to do the warrant on Thursday. We'll Hopefully we'll Thursday. meet the selectmen on Tuesday and get a, a, a real idea where they are. Okay. When's this time meeting? June 3rd, Third. Monday. Our Wednesday public here. The election the following week? Tuesday of the following week. Monday and Tuesday. I think it's the, it's the third. Yeah. Tuesday and Thursday. We're going to and then May. Public hearings Wednesday the 22nd. Right. Goes to, budget goes to town clerk that Friday. Right. Ten was a week. Okay, so now we got to work on the articles. And there's so many of them, I think they're going to take some off. But we'll see. Okay. We're all set. Thank you. Well, there's one other thing on the budget before. Okay. We're all set for that. Thank you. Can you still sit with two